In this video, we are going to be looking at how to solve simultaneous equations which involve circles. Um, I've got simultaneous equations on the board, 3x plus 5y is 20, and root 2x minus 5 root 2y equals 8. Now, to solve simultaneous equations that have thirds, it's exactly the same thing as when you're solving uh, normal simultaneous equations. You want to make the coefficients of x or y be the same, and then add or subtract them so that the y's or x's disappear. Now, if I wanted to make the x coefficients the same, I could do, I could times this by 3 and this by uh, root 2. But if I look, both the y's have a 5 in it, so it's probably easier to just times the top equation by root 2. So if I do that, I'm just going to put it straight underneath, I get 3 root 2x minus uh, plus 5 root 2y equals 20 root 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two together. So I'm going to take this one and this one, I'm going to add them together. So on the left hand side I have 4 root 2x, 5 root 2y and minus 5 root 2y cancel, and on the right I get 20 root 2 plus 8. So all I want to do now is, I've got this equals this, so I can just divide. Um, x is 20 root 2 plus 8 divided by 4 root 2. This obviously isn't a very nice answer, so what we need to do is rationalise the denominator. Um, if you've forgotten how to do that, look back in your books, uh, sorry, look back at the last video. Now, this is my x, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by root 2. I'm going to get rid of the root 2 on the bottom. So I'm going to times top and bottom by root 2. 20 root 2 times root 2. The root 2 is joined together, so I get 2. I have 20 times 2, which would be 40. And I have plus 8 root 2. And on the bottom, I have 4 root 2 times root 2. So 4 root 2 times root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Now this will be one of the cases where a lot of you make mistakes. Each one of these on the top needs to be divided by 8. Okay? Sometimes you just cancel the 8s off and you'd leave the 40 there, but that's not true. You have 40 plus, uh, 40 divided by 8, which is 5, and then plus 8 root 2 divided by 8, which is just root 2. And that is my x. Now, all I now need to do is substitute it into one of these equations and rearrange to find y. The easiest one to put it in will be this one because it doesn't have any certs in it at the moment. So I'm going to take it into this equation here. I'm going to substitute, this is my x, so the x comes in there, and I times it by 3. So I get 15 plus 3 root 2 plus 5y equals 20, minus it across, so 5y is uh, 20, take away 15 is 5, and then minus 3 root 2. And I'll divide through. So y is 5 minus 3 root 2 divided by 5. You can leave it like that, or you can simplify 1 minus 3 root 2 divided by 5. Either of these is fine. This is your x coordinate, this is your y here. I'm going to leave it probably like that, it's the nicest way to do it. And that would be how you solve um, some simple simultaneous equations that have certain them. 